welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is Stellaris. We started underneath the surface of a planet when we began the game, and we have used some of that knowledge to try and get more ore off of Bob. No matter how deep the minerals on Bob are hidden, we will find and extract them. It is what we do. Others might have given up when confronted with unstable grounds, unfathomable depths, or the logistics of maintaining transport tunnels, but we do not. We got a special... Uh, story click for having a subterranean origin, which is what I was alluding to. The underground is our home, and if and if we know where to look, it will provide. The lower we go, the higher the quality and quantity of our, of the ore. Our latest samples even hint at the presence of rare crystals. We found enough. Commence extraction, or these crystals shall be ours. I think if we go too deep, we're gonna fuck it up. But you know what? There's a good chance we won't because of our origin. Let's try it. Hey, science ship. You keep going. That looks like that connects back. So we want to go up to there. Actually, hold on. Let's make sure we can explore all the way up. Then we'll survey. Then we'll survey. Then we'll survey. We're just going to take a quick look. We need a... A system has been surveyed. Crew quarters. We need to move our crew over here because these guys are mad at us. Outlier identified. They have their borders close to us, so we will close our borders to them. Oh wait, our situation is slowly improving with them. So, okay. There's significant scarring on the surface of the world in a pattern that cannot be natural from orbit. Massive rifts look almost like writing. Might as well look into it. We're still going to try to get to Blorg's Bane and then claim it as a choke point. Because no matter what happens, it is a choke point. Oh. Uh, I think we go expansion, right? Colony development speed increase. Max districts and ascension perk. Unlock, da, 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 expansion. Okay, what do we got here? Starbase influence cost reduction. New colonies get an additional pop. Up growth speed. Starbase upkeep. Yeah, we want expansion next. We're going crazy expansion. Oh, what did I what did I get for immediately grabbing that? Fiery crystals? Hold on, that sounds fun. What did I get for getting it? Uh, uh, all I need to develop me see 25%. Well, that's good because Soja should be on the way soon. Okay, now, moving from behind my camera. All right, a new depth has been reached by our surveying expeditions on Bob. As predicted, we are encountering clusters of crystals that shine in vivid hues of oranges, yellows, and reds when light passes through them. At times, it looks as if a brazier is illuminating the caves we f as we find them, where we find them. Casting shifting shadows on the walls. Sounds like Astroneer. Pretty good stuff. We also made a puzzling observation. It looks as if over the millennia, these crystals are slowly migrating towards the center of the planet. We are confident that there will be more to find if only we dig deeper. I need energy to dig deeper? This... These probing works are too expensive. Minerals from jobs, max mining just... I'm worried we're going to just mine the planet apart, but hold on a second. You need 2.5? We got 2.5. One second. Then a digging we shall go. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that again. A digging we shall go, everyone. Why didn't you build that space station you were going to build ages ago? It's 
We would also like that wormhole. That wormhole would be nice to have, too, while we're at it. Alien writing. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago. Large body of writing under the surface. As the script covers a large portion of the planet's hemispheres, it appears to be a short story about chronicling the difficult light of an alien mercenary. Yeah. I already has a planned colony. Potential market survey Oh, we only completed. have the one star base, so the colony ship hasn't been built yet. They have superior fleet power because we are maxed on fleet capacity. We've made contact with the Thegian system. For now, we could name them Alpha Aliens. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Okay. So we're going to try and reach some choke point up here. Research actualized. Upscaling complete. Uh-oh. The price of greed. As our surveyors de delve ever deeper to find the ore on Bob, more and more crystals litter their paths. Finally, they reach a gigantic cavern located close to the core of Bob, and we lost communications. The last thing we know is that they were in the process of setting up lights and various sensors to study the cave then screams pain death destruction the cause was soon revealed when other geological surveyors detected multiple echoes tunneling at tremendous speeds towards our colonies not long after amidst the quakes and tremors we were attacked by a crystalline entity of tremendous proportions it is not unlike the space-borne crystals but seems to be highly aggressive and capable of using reconstruction reconstructed capabilities of its kind to reshape its body in an instant. It is one thing to face such an enemy in space where our ships can bring their speed and weapons to bear, but another entirely to fight them planet side. I don't know why this paragraph starts with a little space at the beginning, but in any event. Um, while the core of the crystalline entity remained buried deep, it spawned tentacle-like appendages that dug through the ground and attacked us to absorb more crystals to grow. Projections are grim, and we might be looking at the end of our colony on Bob. Well, that sucks. Battle Hostile stations. Agents inbound. Uh, click. Army strength 15k. All right, everybody, start making a new colony ship for Bob. Or actually, I don't even know if that's wise. Uh, goodbye, Bob. It was good having you as a raider, but looks like death is happening. Like, we don't have anything close to 15k. Planet is occupied by the Crystalline Bane. Crystalline Bane, resources from jobs, negative 100. Upkeep from jobs, negative 100. Population growth, negative... Or, 100 red? I assume that's negative 100. Immigration pool, negative 1,000. Thousand. 15k? Why does the colony still exist? Why does the colony still exist? <laughs> I mean, that's cool that it still exists, sort of, but like... No, come back over here. Oh, it costs less to do our mining stations. Nice. Oh, I think I missed a research thing. Army damage and worker research output. Yeah, we're gonna need... Yeah, look at that, we're occupied. That's neat. Never seen that before. We will get right on that. What do we need? Outlier identified. 
Tattered old observation post circles adrenal, but there is no signs of intelligent life on the surface. Investigation may cause us may give us the answer as to why. Alright, fine, do that. 15k, huh? I can't afford I I might be able to slowly build that as an army over time. But um I wouldn't be able to um A system has been I wouldn't surveyed. be able to uh, deal with its power usage over time. Incoming transmission. <laughs> um Sorry, we're gonna decline for now. We still need to be able to um expand. I don't know how this start is doing. I always feel a little iffy at the beginning of Solaris. I am taking a lot of risks right now. Like with how far I'm trying to expand outward. Upscaling complete. Contact with the Undernid Remnant? I'm sorry. Pitiful creatures! Know that we roamed the stars for eons before your hapless species mastered space flight. If any of you wretched little ships cross into our space, do not expect them to return. Our warriors salute you? Where are you? Oh! Okay. Florix Bane it is. Lord's Bane, the priority. Oh, wait, if we don't. Future do market project, survey complete. Impressive structure, GitHub's three surface, practically begging for some archaeological work. Um. Do we need Lord's Bane? Oh, we want the wormhole. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll just backfill everything else. Abandoned observation posts. All the observation post data stored storage units have been wiped, and extensive care has been taken to eliminate any evidence that could lead back to its owner. Something clearly went wrong on Adrenal 1. The only signs of intelligent life are crumbling husks of half-finished megacities, seemingly abandoned mid-construction, scattered across the surface, and looming... and the looming hollow temple in their midst. Where is this? Oh no, it's the green planet that I want? The 20? Investigate. Situation log revised. Well. Spacefaring civilization. All right. We're going to expand. Future market survey complete. Unknown system relatively easy. So... So you're not producing any resources. So you're just hanging out? Are you, are you able to live? Crime is increasing. Mm -hmm. One job available on the homeworld. Produce more alloys. Upscaling complete. Economy's getting a little close. Led by the first Raven caretaker, the Union of Traditional Values. That doesn't sound great. That sounds problematic. Tiny Arctic World or Size 20 World? Go Size 20 World. 
Sonified science! The Hubble crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the unusual pattern interference on the Andrano system. The signal is a song. Um, and one that's... Morris cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have composed this song remains unknown. Complexity and creates incredible level of technology. The signal's geodesics suggest a point of origin outside our galaxy. Neat. Neat, neat. Neatness. I upscaling complete. Man. How are we looking compared to these guys? Uh we don't know. Spirit Tab 3 is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. It's evidently cinegraphs carved from some unknown material native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. Here's them for the archives, or they are beautiful. Make digital reproductions of the monoliths available in our empire? Uh, yeah. That sounds like a consumer thing to do. Oh man, you got a little ways to go. I just realized all these systems have like little yellow indicators when they used to have white. The annotated reproductions of the monolithic imagery found on the Gitreb 3 prove immensely popular in the core of the Last Ravens. Many of the citizen states fantastical annals have completely changed how they feel about aliens. Six Pops gained the xenophilic mm -hmm. ethic. I'm okay with that. Market outlier identified. It's good for commerce. I'm the number of explicit impact craters. However, something breaks the visual f uniformity in one of our larger, larger craters. Okay. What can I do about Bob? I can't do anything about Bob. There's nothing to be done about Bob. They're occupied by a 15k sip, sip situation. Market outlier Are they dying? identified. Is crime going up. A small rectangular object in the surface of this planet is deflecting all scans. Beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. We'll figure it out. 15k. I don't know what to do about that, guys. 15k. k Bender Bender. While the crater in question was most likely the result of a regular meteoric impact, the complex patterns resulting from depression originated at a later time. Science officer Charlotte Renard argues that these surface-level patterns are not the results of an impact but a collision between asteroid UT9038 and some unexpected orbital installation or ship of alien make. How odd. A system has been surveyed. Bill next civilization encountered. Neat. Okay. Oh, we're not supposed to. Be, we're not supposed to be expanding because we're enterprise upsizing. I keep forgetting that. Upscaling complete. And yet we're doing it anyway. Alien mural. Surface of Epic of Eight. Science officer clears some Morris and crew. F the Hubble discovered what appears to be artificially car carved slab of rock, covered in alien writing. Not detected any other ship signs activity on the planet. I was reading that. Exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation log revised. All right, you just wait on that. Outlier identified. Class 12 asteroid orbits the planet. 
orbits the planet. Natural resources, okay. Keep trying to stop me. But no, I will not be stopped. How are we doing in here? Upscaling complete. Incoming transmission. Probes show that the Neolithic culture has mastered le Wow, another location. Hopefully they won't just all blow themselves up. A hey, migration treaty. You know what? I want that. Sigus 2. Massive engine sections breaking thrusters can be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Okay. Alright, I don't know. Is my science slowing down? Outlier identified. Found the wreckage of an archaic spaceship on an un unusual design. We are not sure how its propulsion system works. Figure it out. So just still colonizing. Alpha aliens, they are wise to be cautious. Uh-oh. Is that the Blorg? I'm not okay with that. Oh, you've declared rivalry. We will declare rivalry because it will get us influence. Can't really do any more ship designs right now. Oh wait, hold on. There's something. A system has been surveyed. Ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above the world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. Look into it. Okay, hold on. You've got something on your planet, right? Yeah, hold on. When you get done over there, I need you to find out what's going on over here so that I know if I can land a colony ship on that planet or not. On solar sails, Found the wreckage of an old archaic spaceship of unusual design, propulsion system similar to that of modern ships, crafted, relied on sails, unfurled in the vacuum of space. So much to look into. So much of interest. We can support five star bases. Well, let's start getting our trade value hooked up. Soul is way on. We don't have bigger star bases. We don't have anything to start with. I don't want to make a star base just to eliminate the star base. I don't have a lot of alloys to start with. Speaking of which. Automated shipyard. We're conducting a survey of Siggy 3. The Copernicus detected remnants of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to heavily missile bombardment. 
But what if its manufacturing base is still working? Okay. Situation log okay. revised. Ah, poor Bob. 15k. Just crystalline situ. That's crazy. Hey. Nothing personal, but like, if I insult you, I get influence, right? If time is money, then judging by your annual reports, research actualized. Yours is coming to an end. I'm sorry? Market outlier identified. Are you a megacorp? Although Sava B2A appears decidedly desolate and devoid of life, our scanners have picked up an encrypted signal emanating from it. Okay. Look into that. Just, well, we need to grab Blorg's Bane. And then we'll just, we'll just backfill for a while. More science. Uh, tile blocker would be good. Well, population growth speed would be really nice, actually. I got a sign ship not doing anything. And it should be doing all the things. All right, as we continue to expand, we're getting close to not expanding. Whatever that means. Um, I'm going to call it here for those of you watching later on YouTube, and we'll pick you back up in a little while. This has been Stellaris. I have been Hunter Mun, and I will see you one second. Having decrypted the signals, Haseka Akadigbo was astonished to discover it was broadcasting in an archaic form of one of the main raven languages. Speaking in these, thous, and whenceforth, it appears to be reciting one of the lost works of Margaret Welsh, a renowned raven playwright who lived some 600 years ago. It appears that the broadcasting device, a simple satellite dish, is protected by a small shelter. The only non-native structure on the moon, there is no hint as to who left it or there or why, but going by the wear and tear on evidence, it should have been there for since the, the, since shortly after the play was first written. Long before ravens learned the secret of space travel, we can only assume it was left there by ancient visitors to Earth who took a liking to the play and decided to pay our species a strange and unexpected tribute. Further evidence of the superiority of the raven race or wonderful news disseminate the recordings across the nation. Unity plus 15% for f five years and then citizen happiness. Uh, let's go with Unity. Disseminate the recordings. All right, we are now even on energy, which is not good. Upscaling complete. Build mining station. Build observation post. Research station. Uh, 
Alpha aliens have paid off. We are now finally able to dip diplomatic channels to civilization. Potential and market and survey and completed. Mercury and Plyme. We should study them and the learnings of our own workers. Fascinating species. Colonial so enterprise phenomenal. established. Such phenomenon is possible. I'm sorry. They lack the concept of individuality that is inherent to the raven species. Indeed, the individual drone has no free will or thought whatsoever and is a mere power of the hive mind. Um, we should study them and apply our learnings to our workers. That sounds like the... Uh, Foreign market leaders request commercial contact. Answer. We will observe for now our future actions depend on whether you are a threat or an opportunity. Oh. Are you a fallen empire, hive mind? I found both the fallen empires and they're my north and south. That is theoretically very dangerous. Are you? Or are you yoink? What am I looking at? Market outlier identified. Signal beacon beckoning travelers near on the asteroid giant metal monolith blooms. Purpose unknown. No? No, you're just a hive mine. A Blorgian hive mine. Colony is being established. I don't have any good energy jobs. This would be another good food planet. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to build another construction ship. Close their borders to us. That is unfortunate, but okay. You also have your borders close to us. So Bentmash has made it all the way over here. Potential market survey completed. Hello, Ratchet! Welcome to the party, pal! Mysterious monolith. The monolith we found on TBR 1138 dwarfs the science ship we sent to investigate it. A majestic, smooth slab of metal. A once a once garish pigment patterns on the front have been reduced to mere flex. A small power uh, outlet on the machine side promises secrets will be uh, unveiled in exchange for a sum of energy credits. Wow, it's like Astroneer. The machine awakens. The machine stirs, ancient mechanisms clanking behind the smooth facade. After much whirring, buzzing, and dramatic pause, a metallic panel slides back and a ship cylinder, ship sized cylinder rolls out of the machine. The cylinder is empty. It contains long evaporated through its contents, I'm sorry, content long evaporated through a corroded ceiling cap. The container itself is still in good shape, though the unknown alloy is on par with the metal we use to make our ships. Got some minor artifacts, interesting. Some party, no chips or drinks? I, I mean, I got a little Pepsi left, you know? And uh, I've got some, I forget what they're called, baked pretzels? They're like the flat ones. I like the flat ones. Are you building up here?
I do my best, Ratchet. I, I, I can't afford a lot. I am I am here on the kindness of others. That is how I exist. Oh, I'm not using an envoy. You guys are hostile to me. It'd be nice if you were not hostile to me. Actually, let's double check and make sure everybody else is are we are we doing good? Friendly is going up. Friendly is going up. Friendly is going up. Okay. And we will take this moment to improve our relations up here to the north. To keep you guys from getting super mad at us for existing. I I am very lucky with everything that I have, but pretty much all I have is at the whim of other people. So, uh, hey, if you if you happen to have Amazon Prime, Upscaling in case you didn't complete. know, you have access to a free tier one sub you can give to any streamer once a month. I'm mentioning that because I was just mentioning my poverty, and yeah, that's that's a thing. Research actualized. Uh. You can click on subscribe, you'll have an option for subscribing for free with Prime. And you know, of course, if you're just chilling out with some Stellaris, uh, consider following the channel. You'll get notified when I go live. I've met the Syndicate, apparently. And on that note, uh, if you happen to vote in the current poll for what Stellaris origin I should start playing, uh, that notification you get for following the channel might be for uh, one of the Stellaris runs that you vote for me to play in that poll. Okay. Uh, authorized to offer me cordial greetings. Fanatical pacifist, egalitarian. Man, I have not seen a fanatical pacifist in a while. We salute you. Oh man, we gotta get a, we gotta get robots. I mean, we. I mean. Okay, you know what? I don't normally work with robots. I don't normally work with. What you got? Oh my God! Why is your name so big? Potential market survey completed. What? Why? Why is your name so big? That is not okay. I'm not okay with that. My okayness levels are at minimum. That is not okay. Incoming inquiry. <sighs> You want a migration treaty. We will decline for the moment. We will ha say yes at some point, but we will decline for the moment. Upscaling complete. Upscaling complete. Is the tech tree out of its mind? Why is everything moving so slow? I felt this way at the beginning of the last run too, so maybe it'll even out. Oh, because we haven't built any science. Special project actualized. The Great Tempest? For all their efforts at secrecy, traces of the observer's clumsy meddling are everywhere on Adrenal 1. Evidence suggests that the planet was inhabited by a psionically linked consciousness of plantoids that were in the midst of a religious awakening when a mysterious alien race, referred to as the Gatekeepers, descended upon them without warning. From that point on, the plants became obsessed with the idea of an impending apocalyptic event called the Grey Tempest. Their formerly peaceful religion soon spiraled into suicide cult. Within a matter of months, one of the galaxy's most ancient life forms had wilted away for fear of doomsday that would never come, despite re repeated attempts at forced rehydration. They dehydrated themselves, the plants? That's... Terrible. <laughs> that's not... That's awful. Alright, let's investigate whatever this is. Primary composition of hydrogen and helium is doing a dense core. But what is the science? Sensor profile of a mid-sized vessel was briefly detected inside the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, I guess we're in bound for a new colony. I only need the one migration treaty anyway because all those guys have migration treaties with each other. Okay. Uh oh, Ratchet showed up. So Ratchet. Huh. That's how it works. Speak up, get a planet. If if I have planets to give, that is. Okay, I can wait a little time on that. I need to get up to this choke point. I'm low on mins. A system has been surveyed. Planet Ratchet, you'd live there? Sure, sure, sure. I mean, if you have a suggestion for a Lombax race, I'd take that suggestion. I'd have to think about their origin, though. cruising along at this point. Oh, shit! The Research recording never actualized. Ended. Uh, let me try and do an outro. 41 minutes isn't terrible, but I meant to end the recording a little while ago, which is why I got a little bit quiet. So for anybody who's watching later on YouTube, I would like to thank you for watching. This has been Stellaris, I've been Hunter Munn, and all that stuff got interrupted, so goodbye. <laughs> In the future is where I will see you. Quinton Warriors sighted. What? Way over there? By the black hole? Alright, we found the Ravengers. Peace off. Peace offer? Smart type people and a war happened. Uh, more like a war ended. New colonies gain an additional pop. Well, that'll be relevant. Hold on, but this one is more relevant. We got plenty of colonies left to grab. Uh, we are low on energy, so we could go energy jobs. Those guys are expanding. Our system does not look cohesive at the moment. I don't know. It Incoming looks like the Dagger of Time, actually. We do not need another migration treaty. We're doing stuff. Another toxic terraforming candidate. Good golly Miss Molly. Molly, who has not shown up tonight. Or at least not spoken. She might be one of my viewers who is uh, quiet and, you know, turned it on at work or whatever. Upscaling complete. I have a number, number of people watching right now. How you doing, everybody? I appreciate you all. Potential market survey completed. Upscaling complete. Okay, I need... more minerals to get myself out of this hole. Build mining station. Is that one? No, that's two. All right, let's check and see how the economy is doing. We're relatively okay on jobs at the moment. We've got a little bit of crime over there. Do we have any unhappiness? 
two unhappiness, two unhappiness. I don't think I can afford another one. All theaters need to be built. Wait, what about penis? <laughs> Ratchet, what if happiness? Happiness, okay. <laughs> But yes, they were a little lacking for, for entertainment. And considering they're on worlds that are not great for them right now, that's totally understandable. Uh, we should be in the middle of building a new colony ship. We are getting outmatched in military power because we don't have anything but Corvettes. And we don't have anything but... You know what? Hold on. Ship design-wise... Let's not auto-generate. Um, let's not auto-upgrade. Let's call this the Sparrow. Okay, we got twos on armor and shields. Can I get away with a one? I cannot. Okay. Then we will save that. We don't need that much power. Turn off auto upgrade. Yonai? Um, let's go with Lombax. Save. Your basic Lombax design. Okay. You have to go back to Starbase to upgrade. Go upgrade. Then return. Meanwhile, I will use some of my alloys to build a defensive platform. Scans of Scalae 3, Scalae 3, have picked up what appeared to be a large ship inside the atmosphere of the gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage the derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such crest and gravity must be a magnificent prize. And Officer Cal Clarissa Morris has proposed a salvage project of her own. The effort is too great. Leave it down there. Salvage giant ga gas giant ship. As long as that's not time. Situation log revised. A new ship would be pretty good. Many planets over here have been surveyed. Research this anomaly. Are you still... You're still doing your thing. Okay. What are you doing over there? All right. We Special project actualized. Special project completed. Studies of the massive skeletal remains found in Candidus 4. Science officer Lazibo Anabanjo has concluded that the creatures served as some kind of organic starship. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineers necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones has substantially advanced our knowledge. Neat? Wow.
Alright, you guys fly back and get upgraded and then come back. How are we doing on the tech Market tree? outlier oh, identified. Sensors and droid indicate auto regularities. Yes, sir. Get that pop growth speed going on. Basically means every colony gets to a minimum size. Future market survey complete. How are we doing on diplomatic? We are not friends to our north and south. Tau aliens? Pictorial... Pictorial descent. Multiple non-verbal communication systems have emerged independently on Petron 1, conflicting with a set of imagery and hieroglyphs. Inhabitants are still centuries away from forming a dominant language. Interestingly, one of the writing systems has similar grammatical structure to our own. If they were to adapt the system, they could become culturally malleable in the future. Ah, that... Sounds like something a giant corporation would do. Sure. Do let's. Research actualized. Are you already building the starbase? You are. Population growth speed has increased. Uh, I kind of want the gene clinics for speed. Where do we have... I do wish they'd leave this window open. We don't, we don't need to know how to take out one glacier. We know how to make it, take out most of our blockers, so we're going to ignore that for the moment. Um, research. Research faster. Even though we have, like, no research. Is that even a good call? No, we have, like, one research facility. That's not a good call at all. Actually, nothing on that window was a good call. Well, the edicts. Yeah, we'll do the edicts. Upscaling complete. Uh oh. Well, they're they're scouting it. Wait, who's this? Early compound. Upscaling complete. Star patterns. Latest sensory readings from Jonah A show the star pulsing regularly, but when the crew from the Von Braun arrived there on site, there was no evidence to support this data. Well, most of the crew is in agreement that the anomaly was caused by sensory malfunction. Officer Paseki Okadigbo discarded this theory. He claims to have discovered similar pulsing energy emissions patterns elsewhere and now fears that something strange is happening to the galaxy stars. They have charted the course to the nearest affected star. We must get to the bottom of this or it was a malfunction. It was a malfunction. What could happen to the stars? That's crazy talk. Unity gained. You crazy. You full crazy. You cray cray even. Cray cray souffle. Uh oh. Alright, back up, back up. They're building a construction ship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Lock the doors. Hide your wife. Oh wait, actually. But the question of can we get to that system next is the question. We will have to find out. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Why is the recording still going? Has my button stopped working? Why am I in this That's view and nobody said anything? Complete.